What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to change the Google Assistant button functionality on your Sony WH-1000XM3, XM4, or XM5 headphones. It doesn't matter which ones you have. I've done them with threes and fours and I've seen my buddy do it with fives. So this will work for all of those headphones. And what I mean by this is as you can see in this picture, you'll see the power button and then you'll see an additional button on the headphones. That button by default is the Google Assistant button, so you can press it and like you can ask Google to search something on your phone or whatever. I don't find that super useful. Like if I ever want to talk to my phone, I'll just say the magic words, hey Google. I hope it doesn't. <sighs> yeah, their phone just actually <laughs> picked that up. Sorry, anyways, um, so I don't use that. And what you can actually switch the functionality of this button to when you press it is to turn off noise canceling, turn on ambient sound, or turn off all ambient sound and noise canceling functionality and just have them work as regular headphones. I prefer this more because, you know, if you don't, it's just going to have noise canceling on and you're going to have to go into the app and turn it off where you could just press the button and turn it off whenever you need to and hear what's going on around you because the noise canceling on these is actually pretty good. I don't always want to use it. so. Anyways, let's get into this. And just wanted to show you guys a couple more pics like this. This is what they look like. WXM. These are the new ones. Those are the fives. I have the threes on right now as I'm recording. And you'll need to connect via Bluetooth. So make sure you're connected via Bluetooth here. WX1000 M3, turn on your Bluetooth settings and connect your headphones. I'll make a separate video on how to connect via Bluetooth on Android, but for now, let's assume you know how to do that and we can close this. So let's go to the Google Play Store. And if you search up here on the Google Play Store, Sony Headphones Connect, I've already searched it. You want to install this app. I'm not gonna update it for this video, but this is the one you wanna install. So make sure you install this one right here. And once you have it installed, let me go to it on my, um, here it is. So you may be prompted with some setup screens, something like this, uh, start, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Click next. Ambient sound control based on actions. Not interested in this. This is overcomplicated later. Um, this one's up to you if you want this, but for the sake of this video later, and now we can go to dashboard. So my headphones are connected and all we have to do is go to um, sound or system, one of the two. Right, system is the tab here, sorry. So you go to the system tab and then here is the option. So change function of NC slash ambient button. So if you do this, You'll see it may be selected to Google Assistant by default. Um, I'm not going to reconnect the headphones, but you're going to want to just select ambient sound control. So if you do that, now when you press the button, you'll hear it say ambient sound on, ambient sound control off, and that's all it is. So now you actually have a button that does things <laughs> besides talk to Google on your headphones. And I find this more useful personally. And if this is what you want, all you have to do is just select this option here. You don't have to hit save or anything. You can press back and then you're good to go as is. So that's pretty much it guys. I tried to make it a quick video, but if you have any questions, please leave comments and I will answer all of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.